You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. I'm going to call in our guest because he's been waiting. He is in Cleveland, Ohio, living life in the Christmas Story house. Waist deep in uh, snow, I'm sure. Oh, man. Waist deep in snow, but living large, man. Mm. Uh, uh, Ian Petrella is our guest. You may remember him as Randy uh, Randy Parker in... uh, Christmas story. If you haven't seen a Christmas story, then you're probably a communist. Um, and uh, <laughs> even he, the communists have seen it. And you can fix it. Yeah, yeah, even the it's communists true. have. Some it's say true. that's what brought Glasnost about the Christmas story. All right, anyway, let's bring him in. Number. Last time I last time I did this, I dialed somebody in Switzerland. Oh, hmm. hello. Hey, hi. Can I have Ian, please? This is Ian. Ian, how are you? It's Ethan with Combat Radio. Hey, how's it going, man? It's fantastic. I already, you know, everything's fantastic, man. I already introduced you as being something of a power. You know, a power player this time of year, as we all know your history with the uh, Christmas story. A yeah. power player. I've never been introduced as a power player before. Oh, that's the uh, first, t- first time for everything. I've come a long way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, man? It's actually a privilege. I know you get bombarded with, uh, you know, media requests this time of year, given your icon status. But the reality is, is uh, people, you know, and hopefully we can touch a little bit about it today. People don't know what a skilled animator you are, what a puppeteer you are what a visionary you are, how artistic you are. I mean, right now, you're just living the life, in, uh, as I understand it, in the Christmas Story house in Cleveland. But there's so many yeah. different creative aspects to you. It's unbelievable. Yeah. No, I, I try, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take... I, try as, I try as hard as, and as much as I can and try and do as much as I can. You never know. <laughs> you know, what is, it, what is your perception on the film today when you look back at it? I mean, did you have any idea that they were going to run this film nonstop on what TBS or TNT mm. uh, for 24 hours straight and have that kind of effect where uh, people just idolize this movie to where they're coming to the house where the exteriors were shot? I mean, it's unbelievable. Right. I mean, basically, I mean, I mean when we were making it, I was eight years old. So, I mean, my the, the furthest I was I was thinking is, oh, this is going to get played in movie theaters. That's pretty cool. You know, I mean, cool. I was an eight-year-old kid, but I was a huge fan of, of movies anyways. And so it was kind of cool. You know, you got to make one, and then not only that, you were actually going to be in one and see yourself on the screen. So, but I don't think there was a whole lot of general buzz as everybody thought, oh, this is going to be huge. This mm-hmm. is going to be big. It was pretty much, let's just make a good movie. And if we make a really good one, then everything should be good. <laughs> everything will be right. okay. Um, but as far as how how it's turned out, uh, you know, with the 24-hour marathon and just, you know, the following that it has, and it's, it's, it's one of those movies that it's kind of handed down from generation to generation. Yeah. Um, I don't think anybody really foresaw that. I don't think you really can. It's right. just you either you you just you make a really good movie, and that will just eventually happen, and or you know nothing happens with it. You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on LA Talk Radio. 